Hi, Investy Besties. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are a returning Investy Bestie, thank you so much for coming back. I do appreciate all of you guys being here. So we are going to do our passive income report for the month of December 2021. And I always talk about passive income on this channel. I love passive income because passive income is just income that takes little to no effort for you to earn. You literally can do the work once and just continue to get paid off of it, or it doesn't take as much of your active time to do the work. And then as a result, earn the income. So I really love passive income. Passive income is so important for my husband and myself as we journey towards early retirement. We need to have income to live off of. And there are different ways that you can create and earn passive income. Dividends is a really, really popular way. Real estate is another popular way. Interest on the cash you have in your high yield savings account is another way. Sometimes you can get money from having CDs on money market accounts, maybe referrals, um, cash back through your credit cards, maybe through your side businesses or side hustles. There are so many ways for you to create passive income. And I really do love passive income because like I said, it takes the least amount of effort to earn and just give you guys an update date on how our passive income went for the month of December. So we're starting a new year. So we're going to be starting over. But again, to close out 2021 with the goal that we had, which was $40,000. And yes, we did achieve that passive income goal for 2021. I will show you in the spreadsheet in a few minutes. But yes, guys, I really do appreciate all of you who have been supporting my channel. 2021 was a great year for MT. Again, it's not the biggest channel out there, but but I just wanted to just to stop and thank you guys for helping me to get to monetization, for supporting me, for communicating with me in the comments. This community that we have over here is really near and dear to my heart. So I just wanted to stop and just say thank you so much for all of the support, all of the love, all of the shout outs, all of you sending other people to the channel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for helping your sister become the Oprah of the investing world. Okay, guys, I'm, you get a stock, you get a stock, you get a stock, you get a stock. One of those days <laughs> that may actually come true. So again, guys, thank you so much. Also in this video, I'm going to be doing something that I saw on Reddit. I'm going to tally up all of the dividends that we received for 2021. That's in all of our accounts. That's also in the 401k, the HSA, Roth IRAs, things like that. I'm going to add all of them up and then I'm going to see how much our dividends paid us per hour. It was something I found on Reddit and I absolutely loved people's responses to it because it's really interesting to see how much your money can make you per hour. And we're not even talking about the growth in all of our accounts, just the dividend payments for 2021. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to share that at the end of this video. But without any further ado, I'm going to head to the spreadsheet so that we can do our passive income update for the month of December 2021. I'll see you guys over there. All right, guys, so I am zoomed in. I hope that you guys can see this pretty well. I zoomed into 200%. So we've been tracking dividends in three of our investment accounts and we get dividends in several of our accounts and I will talk more about that at the end of this video. But as you guys can see, we have all of it from January all the way down to December. So we've been really consistent. So with the three accounts, and I added M1 here back in November, and we're doing that with the investing challenge. And I decided to add that because we were getting a dividend inside of it with our investment picks. If you want to join us on the investing challenge, check under the playlist. I have like an investing challenge playlist. That way you can get more information. I know a lot of new subscribers have come to the channel. So if you want to know more about the investing challenge, why I created it, the premise behind it. Check out those videos. I think you would like it. So total for the year with these accounts is $899.64. We were so close to $900. But again, guys, the goal was just $500. So and as far as I'm concerned, I am just ecstatic to see how much passive income we were able to earn through the year with just these few accounts guys again just investing consistently whether you have big deposits whether you have small deposits a gain is a gain and as you can see like from january we had like 13 dollars in robin hood we had nine dollars in interactive brokers and as we continue to invest the dividend payouts just continued to increase and continue to increase guys and so if we come over here for our dividend totals for the whole year you see that we closed out december with a total of 159 dollars 
and 98 cents in dividends in these accounts, which also equals $899.64. So again, well guys, we're just happy to see that we reached that $100 mark. If we come down here to our dividend total goals, you can see the date that we achieved some of these thresholds. So on September 30th is when we actually achieved the $150 threshold. Now we may come under it, but we just wanted to actually touch that threshold and we think $175 is not too far in our future. Our goal for 2022 is at least get $500 in one month in a dividend payout. So we will see guys, we're just going to continue to do what we've been doing. Just be consistent and just watch our money grow month over month. So you guys see the chart here and move my face. So you can see the chart here, how we've been doing all year long. Pretty, pretty good, I think. We can see which quarters are going to pay more. And I'm really interested more so in following this chart next year to really solidify which quarters we make more in dividends because as we get closer to our fire number, we will know, okay. And for example, September, we can take more of a payout. December, we can take more of a payout because our dividends are greater versus, let's say, August, where the dividends are not as big. Come down. So we have our interest and rewards tracker. I'm just moving this over. So with our emergency fund, we're closing out the year with December with $7.88 since we received an interest for a total of $113.78 in a high yield savings account. This is why it's so important to invest, guys, because... All that money sitting over there in Capital One and it's not really earning anything. You're talking about 30 plus thousand dollars. It's, it's, you know, but again, guys, it's an emergency fund. It's a sinking fund. That's what it's there for. But again, the high yield savings, it doesn't compare to the returns you get in the stock market. And then, of course, the crypto. Every time I do a learn and earn, I just hold it. I don't buy it. I hold it when they give it to me for free. And for the month of December, we received $7. So we received a total of $123.94 in free crypto. This is not including any gains that it made, just what it, the cost was when it was given. And the interesting thing is that we received more in free crypto than the interest on a $30 plus thousand dollar account in Capital One. Just Again, numbers, the numbers don't lie. The numbers do not lie. The metrics do not lie. And it's just really interesting to see where our money grows the most when it comes to our investments, right? So let's go on to our passive income workbook. I'm going to zoom in also here. Okay, guys, I zoomed out a little bit so that you guys can see the entire year and all of the different passive income categories. So as usual, we have both rent payments. We have dividend payments from the previous tab. We have interest payments that I just showed you, yearly and quarterly dividends, which I will talk about, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video. MT, which is my business. We have Rakuten, surveys on the go, free crypto, cashback, other fetch and referrals. Okay, so that's a whole lot of mouthful. But again, we love diversifying our passive income. Remember, guys, passive income takes the least amount of effort for you to earn. So we had a good month in December. So we had our two normal rent payments as always. That's why I love rentals because it's predictable. I know exactly what we are getting month over month. So this is my favorite type of passive income. Then we have our dividends and the accounts that I just showed you, $159. Moving on to the interest, I just talked about $7.88. And then again, guys, you'll hear me talk about this a little bit more. This is our quarterly dividend payout, which was $5,771.70. Next is MT Finance. That's my website business. December was a great month. I earned $834 and that's net, okay? I like to count net with my business so I know how much I can actually spend per se. Next is Rakuten. That is $25.93. Again, Christmas shopping using the cashback points. Um, nothing for surveys on the go. I just did not have time with November, December. December, I was swamped with Vlogmas, guys. Vlogmas really like, it kicked your girl butt. You know, I love filming videos, but filming, editing, uploading daily like that. And I took the weekends off. <laughs> I just did not have the time, guys. So nothing for surveys on the go. Free crypto, I just talked about $19. We have cash back from, you know, our credit cards. We pay them off every month, $150. Then we have others. So we received a family cash gift. I didn't know how to really, like, classify it. So I just put it under passive income, and I honestly just saved it because the kids got way too much from different family members for Christmas. I mean, they got spoiled. They got spoiled. 
Next is Fetch, again, $10 in Fetch. And then, of course, Referrals, $473.28. That's M1, that's Robinhood, that's Coinbase. Again, guys, if you are interested in opening up any of those accounts, all my referral links are down below. I also have many videos on this account. Check out my playlist. You can actually see me invest in crypto. You see me invest in M1. You see me invest in Robinhood. I share real numbers. I have been consistent and we've been doing this for a couple of years. So again, I always say I teach with the receipts. So when we add up all of December's payments for passive income, it was a whopping $11,045.79. Like, whoa. That's that's a lot of money for passive income, and we just pretty much put that money to work for us, okay? So if we come to our totals for the year, how much passive income did we make for 2021? It was $49,113.92. Remember, our goal initially was $30,000. Then we bumped it up to thirty-five. dollars Then we bumped it up to forty. dollars And to see, we almost received $50,000 in passive, passive income is like, amazing and so that's why our goal for next year i believe is seventy five thousand dollars i talked about that in our 2022 goals video i'll have it up somewhere on the screen if you wanted to go back and take a look and then of course we come down here to the graph and we can see our payments for passive income december was just a great great month so that's pretty much all of our passive income i'm going to head right back to the video so that i can talk to you about our quarterly dividends Okay, guys, so we are back from tracking our passive income through the spreadsheet. I hope that you guys have been tracking your passive income. And again, guys, I'm just excited to see the growth month over month with our money. So like I mentioned earlier in the video, I wanted to see how much our dividends were making per hour. Again, I got this idea from a post I saw on Reddit. I'll try to link it down below, but it really got my juices flowing. And I wanted to see how much was our dividends making per hour. And I think when you get to see some metrics like this, it really shows you like, wow, your money can actually be working for you month over month. And I'm doing this with dividends. And I'm actually thinking of doing this with all of our accounts in terms of the growth. So what our accounts were at January 2021, what our accounts ended at December 2021, and then seeing how much our money made per hour overall. But for this particular video, I'm just going to do dividends and I'm going to do the dividends in all of our accounts. And I have my notes here because I can't remember all of these numbers <laughs> by heart, but I will have it on the screen for you to see. So the first thing is our 401k for 2021. The total amount of dividends we received was $3,816.64. Most retirement accounts pay dividends out at the end of the year. So some accounts will pay your dividends every month. Some will pay once a quarter, others will pay twice a year, and then there's others like the one that we're in with our 401k that pays at the end of every year. So like I said, that payout was $38,16.64. Then, like I mentioned, with the Roth is $340.10. That's with one of the Roths. And then the other Roth was $662.29. Moving on to the kids' accounts, they received $45.29. Moving on to Robbie Hood or Robin Hood. So I've been tracking this account faithfully all year. So the total amount of dividends we received for 2021 was $512.62. Next is Interactive Brokers. That is where a lot of our growth stocks are. So we have Tesla, we have Disney, we have Starbucks, we have Target, things of the like. That is $374.20 in total dividends we received for the year. Moving on to Webull was $11.82. M1 Finance was $3.60. The HSA was $926.32. This one really surprised me because the HSA has about 15 grand in it. And that's a pretty nice dividend for 2021. So, but again, $926.32. And then our seat over in Vanguard, that's from my husband's side business, that seat was converted into a Roth, was $24.77. So when you add up all of the dividends we received in each of our accounts for 2021, that was $6,717.65 total in dividends we we received for 2021 across all of our accounts. Now in that passive income tracker spreadsheet I just showed you, I'm just tracking them in like three or four of our accounts. That's Interactive Brokers, Robinhood, Webull, and M1 Finance. But this is 
all of our accounts. So our total, like I said, was $6,717.65. Now, if you divide that by a 40 hour work week for 52 weeks in a year, that's 2,080 hours. So we're going to divide the total amount of dividends by 2,080 hours. And that means that our dividends made $3.22 per hour in 2021. Again, the epitome, the coup de gras of passive income is dividends because literally you're getting paid out for doing nothing. You're getting paid out for holding the stock. I was already going to buy my beloved Target, but if you're going to pay me a dividend for owning the, the company, okay, and I get the dividends reinvested, make sure your dividends are reinvested back into the account and compound interest will continue to, this is compound interest, just in your money, making money. So every time I get a dividend payout, it gets reinvested, it increases the share size, it increases the amount that I have in that company. And then again, when another dividend get paid out, it's just adding to the pie and the pie just get bigger and bigger and bigger. And so again, guys, to see our dividends in 2021 make $3.22 per hour for us, literally, doing nothing. This is what we are really going to focus on in 2022. So I hope that you enjoyed this video on today. I hope that it wasn't too long. Leave me a comment down below. Again, thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and until next time, I'll see y'all in the next one, okay? Bye-bye.